Ben was water divining for me and showed me exactly where um, the river is and where I should dig, <laughs> as if that's going to happen. <laughs> okay, but I, I didn't lose the footage, so that was really good. I forgot that I had it on here and I was about to format the disc. Oh. It's telling me that you've got water inside you. It's the start of your stream there. Oh, really? Down your stream there. That's where you want to drill. Drill there? Drill there. Okay, when will we do that? Oh, sure. Huh? Have I got wine? No, straight bit of, <laughs> just a straight bit of wire. Um, probably. A bit of wire. Okay. And how are you doing, Karen? I'm well. I'm sitting on your beautiful veranda. Good. We'll have lunch shortly when, when will. I'll give Ben a spade and a mattock and he can dig me a river. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that's made me feel a bit stupid today was that I've had this fridge, the Bushman uh, 35 to 52 litre, for three years. It's been running non-stop. And today, three years after it was fitted, I found out how you were supposed to use it. So all this time, I thought I had a spare basket. But no. Oh, my gosh. I feel like such a prune, honestly. Anyway, I'll show you now how, how this fridge works. So into the van. <laughs> I do feel like a tweet. Anyway, what are we doing? What, what's the temperature? Um, one degree at the moment. Okay, so I've, I've set it to zero because I don't have any frozen things. But apparently, if you set it to minus four or minus five and you put frozen stuff right at the bottom in the big basket, it will stay frozen. And so... <laughs> Honestly. All right, so I'll show you. It um, All it can do is uh, cool down again, and I have the batteries full, so everything's okay. All right, so this is the fridge. Uh, the Bushman, there you go, SC35 to 52. All right, so it's got a high lid, a low lid, and it has three baskets. Okay, so this top basket is for veggies but I don't have veggies, so they're in the garden. So I put various other bits and pieces. Under that, at the next height of cool, I have all these homemade cheeses, um, is dairy, okay? Butter, cheeses, thank you, Karen. Um, all sorts of things like that. Beautiful feta, homemade, yogurt, all that sort of thing, right? So that's on the next level with room for a dozen eggs at the end. Then lift that one up and right at the bottom there are things that you may want to keep frozen or keep really cold. So there you have it. Dairy, frozen or super cold. Dairy, veggies or, uh, I don't know, bread. Nothing really important. And I had that basket at the bottom with my rolled up t-shirts so this area here under the bed is where I keep my kind of out of season stuff and uh, and then because this was a bit of a I couldn't get up there I suggested to um, Michael that we put a step in with a couple of little um little stoppers to stop it falling off and and lo and behold just like that he made me one so now it's an easy step up onto the bed and on my bed above my head I have room so that's the fridge which is now at zero degrees it's just input is 4.2 amps and it says it's full
200 amp hour lithium battery, whoops, oh sorry about that, is full. And the fridge, <laughs> for, the first, for the first time in three years, is actually being used as it's supposed to be. God, talk about gormless. This little doggy's name is Pepper. It says so. There's a tag on its bum. Anyway, a few days ago, it was so hot and windy that um, some old trees dried, leaves got crispy, and then The tank got filled again and I think some of the trees are looking a little healthier again. Um, they really do get knocked around with that wind. There's not much wind now, it's been a beautiful day. There are some tomatoes on the tomato plants and I have eaten a few cherries. I have eaten a few cherries. Would you like to see the cherries? Come on. Come on, we'll go under again. Do you want to go undercover again? Look at that. And there were some cherries down the bottom. And they're the ones that seem to have got a darker red. So they're the ones that I've been testing. <laughs> <laughs> and very nice. The wheat's sort of sun ripened now. I'm not quite sure what to do with it. Maybe just leave it. Just leave it here and see what will become of it. Most things are okay. The poppies over by the dam wall, well, they died. That was sad. I really wanted to see those. Mm. Never mind. Oh. All the little plants out here. People comment on that and they say, Oh, they're so lovely. What a lovely welcome. I like it. I potted on some tomatoes and things. Um, I've got so many around the place, I just thought I'd stagger it a bit. Anyway, here's next to Shaun of the Sheep, the pumpkin and the ancient gourd. So with this little bit of shelter here from a wooden pallet, they've really done well. It's all about the view. <laughs> oh look, this is for Merry Christmas. There's some, some crazy little elf on the swing. The swing is my Christmas tree. <laughs> Good view, Elfie. Good view. <laughs> <laughs> 